Hey guys, Curtis Parks here and you are watching Worshipology. Hey, today I want to talk about one of the biggest assets that we have as worship leaders. It's smack dab in the middle of our Bibles. It's a book of 150 songs called Psalms. Now, all the way from Psalm 1 that talks about how blessed is the one who doesn't walk in the way of the wicked, and it talks about how the Lord watches over the righteous, Psalm 1, all the way to Psalm 150, where it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise him with the clashing cymbals, praise him with the the harp and the lyre and the stringed instruments. Um, We have 150 of Israel's greatest hits. And as worship leaders, I think it's imperative that we regularly get into the Psalms in our daily devotions. Um, A lot of our modern day worship songs actually come out of the Psalms. Uh, Matt Redman's song, 10,000 Reasons, is just an updated version of Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Um, And I want to kind of pinpoint a couple of the Psalms today and just inspire you guys. Take this summer and get into the Psalms. I call it the summer of Psalms. We got three months, we got 150 Psalms. We can do this. So let's read through the Psalms together. And if you don't know of a place to start, Psalm 51 is not bad. Now, a lot of the Psalms were written by many different people, not just David, who wrote Psalm 51, but Ethan and Asaph, the sons of Korah, many different people contributed to the Psalms. And they're encompassing a whole gamut of our human emotions. Psalm 51 is uh, a very popular one because it's written out of a place of repentance, out of a place of, uh, honestly, regret, I think. Um, And a lot of us have been there as believers. It's where David writes, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Uh, Restore the joy of my salvation. Um, I would start there if you don't know a place to start. Um, But Psalms of triumph, Psalms of fear. You know, David is running from Saul in many of the Psalms that were written. The Psalms are a worship playbook. And I just want to encourage all of us as worship leaders, we need to get into the Psalms so that the Psalms can get into us and we will lead worship with a greater understanding, a greater appreciation of some of these songs that were directly written out of the Psalms. Thanks for watching.